Hello and welcome to today's teaching, which is being presented to you by For Those Who Choose Incorporated. My name is Diane Bowyer, and I am on the team of instructors here at For Those Who Choose. And teaching with me again today are Anisha Tillman, Hello. who is also on our instructor team, and Elder Aaron Cook, who is co-founder and our lead instructor. Hello. Today, we continue at, on our new series called The Governor of God's Kingdom on Earth, mm. the Holy, Holy Spirit. Spirit. Yes. <laughs> As we said last week, the Bible tells us that he, the Holy Spirit, is a person. Mm -hmm. He is not a spooky person, nor is he some type of religious figure. Mm -hmm. Yeah. He, the Holy Spirit, or the Holy Ghost, is the spirit of the one true and living God. Amen. Yes. Elohim, Adonai, Jehovah God, the self-existing one. Yes. Jehovah God is the most high king and lord of heaven and earth. Mm -hmm. He is creator of all things mm -hmm. and creator of all flesh. Yes. yes. Jesus said, not only will the Holy Spirit be with Bless you, you. Yes. but he will dwell in, in you. you. Yes. He is the spirit of truth mm -hmm. who will teach you all things and will remind mm -hmm. you of all the teachings of Jesus Christ. Amen. 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 Yes. So why is it so important that we study the purpose of the Holy Spirit? Mm -hmm. Well, from previous study, we learned that the Bible is really about a king, king. That's right. his, his kingdom, kingdom. Uh -huh. and his royal family, That's right. you and I. Yes. That's right. And we also learned that the kingdom is the governing influence mm -hmm. of a king impacting Come it on. with his territory, mm -hmm. his purpose, mm -hmm. his will, yes. and his intent mm -hmm. to produce mm -hmm. a citizen of people Amen. that reflect the king culture, yes. his Come nature, on, oh, his morals, <laughs> his standards, Amen. and his values. Amen. Calm down. Amen. Okay. We also learned that all true kingdoms have the same qualities mm -hmm. and characteristics, mm -hmm. which is why Jesus uses the word kingdom in mm -hmm. his teaching. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. So as we said last week, we know and understand the purpose of the Holy Spirit mm -hmm. to we, as we said last week, to know and understand the purpose of the Holy Amen. Spirit is to know and understand the kingdom of the God. Kingdom of God. Yes. Amen. Jesus Christ is the king of the kingdom. Come on. Mm -hmm. The Bible says that he is the king of kings yeah. and the Lord, the Lord of, of all lords. lords. Jesus Christ is the king and Lord. And what does Lord mean? Owner. 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 He's the owner of heaven and yeah. earth. Come on. Yes. <laughs> Genesis chapter Amen. one, verses one, tell us that in the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. Mm -hmm. From this statement, we know that the most high God of heaven created earth. Amen. And his purpose for creating earth mm -hmm. was to be an extension of his heavenly dominion or mm -hmm. territory. Yeah. And we learned before that a kingdom is the extended territory. Right. Right. It's also called the what? Colonies. Colonies. Amen. So the question be becomes, <laughs> how does the kingdom rule a colony? Wow. Mm -hmm. Well, we know from a historical point of view mm -hmm. that a kingdom rules its extended territory or colony mm -hmm. by sending from the throne mm -hmm. of that kingdom yes. an individual called a governor, governor. Yeah. who Amen. is planted in the colony. Mm -hmm. The governor of the colony has to come from the throne of the kingdom because mm -hmm. he has to carry the mind of the king. That's right. Mm -hmm. That's the right. governor must see that the purpose, the intent, and the will of the mm -hmm. king is done in the territory. Amen. Yeah. So that the colony become just like the kingdom. Yes. And that sounds so simple, doesn't yeah. it? It does, doesn't it? <laughs> so again, why is it important that we study the Holy Spirit? Mm -hmm. He, the Holy Spirit, is the governor mm -hmm. of the kingdom of God mm -hmm. living in the earth. Mm -hmm. He was sent directly from the throne of the king of heaven mm -hmm. to govern the affairs or the colony of okay. earth. Amen. That's right. Mm -hmm. The purpose of the Holy Spirit as a governor of the king of the God's kingdom mm -hmm. on earth is to transform earth mm -hmm. into the culture, mm -hmm. the nature 
the moral standards and the values of the kingdom of heaven. Yes. Yeah. As we learned be as we learned from before, mm -hmm. culture is not in the land. Yeah. Right. Cul right. Instead, culture is in the people, people of the land. Yeah, Amen. that's right. The Bible tells us that he, the Holy Spirit, does not live in buildings made mm -hmm. by man and hand. Come, Come on, on say that again. Mm -hmm. The Holy Spirit does not live in buildings mm -hmm. made by man and hand. Yes. yes. Isn't we special? God mm -hmm. made us his temple. For yes. Isn't that yes. Something? That's, that's powerful there. I'm calm down there. Yeah. Wait a minute. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, that's right. I have to. I don't want to get up in mind. In 1 Corinthians chapter 6, verses 19, the apostle Paul says that your body is mm -hmm. the temple or the dwelling place mm -hmm. of the Holy Ghost, yes. Yes. which is in you, mm -hmm. which you have from God. Yes. Yes. Therefore, as citizens of mm -hmm. God's kingdom, mm -hmm. living in the colony of earth and children of the Most High King, mm -hmm. it is vitally important mm -hmm. that we understand why God has made our bodies, mm -hmm. the dwelling place for the his spirit, spirit. Wow. for his spirit. Wow. Yes. Furthermore, and if you have not received Jesus Christ as your Lord, Lord and Savior, right. he, the Holy Spirit, is what you are missing and mm. still searching for. Yeah. Yeah. So That's our true. primary objective for this series are that you will gain a greater level of knowledge, mm -hmm. understanding, mm -hmm. comprehension, and wisdom of why the Holy Spirit is referred to mm -hmm. as the governor of the kingdom of God on earth. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What is the purpose and power of the Holy Spirit in the earth? Mm -hmm. What is the role of the Holy Spirit as your advocate or mm -hmm. counselor, your helper, your guide, <laughs> and your comforter? Yeah. Amen. And how the Holy Spirit helped you dominate mm -hmm. and navigate mm -hmm. life in earth as originally intended and purposed by God. Wow. Amen. I've got my hand folded. That helped me here. Amen. I do. Thank you, Holy Thank you, Lord. The most additionally, our aim is that you will also know mm -hmm. the role of the Holy Spirit yes. in enabling you to manifest mm -hmm. your purpose, yes. your potential, mm -hmm. and leveraging the power of heaven given you from the beginning to Amen. dominate your situations and yes. circumstances. Come on. Come on. Come on. Most importantly, if you have not received the cleansing work of Jesus Christ mm -hmm. in your life, our hope is that you will be drawn by the Holy Spirit into the saving knowledge of Jesus Christ. Yes, amen. amen. Once you come into the saving knowledge mm -hmm. and you receive Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, mm -hmm. you are cleansed mm -hmm. by the blood of Jesus by from sin Jesus. and unrighteousness amen. committed by your foreparents. Mm -hmm. Amen. 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 <laughs> Once you are cleansed from sin and unrighteousness by the blood of Jesus, mm -hmm. you begin to dwell. Your, your, your body becomes the dwelling place for the Holy for Spirit the Holy of God. Spirit. Yes. Amen. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Once you are filled with the Holy Spirit, mm -hmm. you are reconciled to mm -hmm. God's family as children. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You are also restored unto the kingdom mm -hmm. citizenship, mm -hmm. authority, and power mm -hmm. in life on earth. Mm -hmm. That's what had Adam fell from. Yeah. Yeah. That's what he fell That's from. Right. That's That's right. Right. With your full rights and benefits of the kingdom of heaven. Mm -hmm. You have rights. You That's have right. benefits. That's yes, right. That's okay. right. Mm -hmm. You are then able to live life in the earth as God originally intended, mm -hmm. ruling and dominating in life with the influences of heaven. Wow. Amen. 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 The influence of heaven on earth is the Holy Spirit living in you, wow, operating bad. on you, mm. and operating through you mm. to cause the good, acceptable, yes. and perfect, perfect will, will of okay. the Father to mm -hmm. be done in every area, wow. every aspect of your life. Amen. Amen. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's a lot Amen. right there. Yes, that it is. is. Mm. Now, mm. the content of this series is taken from several teachings on the Holy Spirit by the late, great Dr. Miles, Miles Monroe, Monroe, with the key resource <coughs> being the book called 
the most important person on earth. Amen. We encourage you to read this book as well <laughs> for greater understanding <laughs> on the purpose and power of the Holy Spirit in the earth as governor of the kingdom. Amen. We are we are only going to cover high level content for this series. Amen. 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 <clears throat> now we also want to remind you that the kingdom is God's greatest desire and passion for you and I. Yes. And it's important that we study the kingdom. We've mm -hmm. talked about this several times yes. and week after week, and we're mm -hmm. going to continue to talk yes. about it because it is important mm -hmm. that we study and understand and know what the kingdom is. Mm -hmm. We are God's children, and his desire is that we would rule this earth yes. and that we would reign in life with the influence of heaven, Amen. which is what you just talked Amen. about. Amen. God wants the environment of his influence, which is the government, Mm -hmm. and the economy of heaven to come back to the earth yes. as he originally plan. intended, right. purposed, and planned from mm -hmm. the very beginning. Amen. God wants his heavenly kingdom or his heavenly government to be manifested in the earth mm -hmm. through who? Us. Through all, all of us, us, through mankind, through you and I. Amen. And God's desire is that his kingdom Amen. government be manifested in the hearts and minds yes. of we, us, his children, mm -hmm. to the point that we take on his culture, yes, mm -hmm. his nature, mm -hmm. his morals, his mm -hmm. values, his standards, yes. so that the culture of heaven is manifested throughout the entire earth. Amen. That's his desire. Amen. And as we've said many times before, Culture is not, not in, in the, the land, land, but instead it's in the what? It's, it's in, the, in the people of the land. Amen. Hopefully by now you're able to answer these questions with us. So when you possess the culture of the king of heaven, you will indeed be able to manifest heaven's culture on the earth. Amen. 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 Thy kingdom come, thy, thy will, will be done, done on earth, earth just, just like, like it is in heaven. heaven. Amen. Amen. Now, for those of you who are joining us live today, mm -hmm. we ask, like we always do, that you join the conversation. Join the conversation. Join the conversation. Mm -hmm. All throughout this live session, we ask that you share your thoughts and your questions with mm -hmm. us. And at the end of each session, we always have an open forum. Yes. Mm -hmm. And it's during that time, we'll respond to any questions that you may have online. Mm -hmm. Our desire is that you walk away from these teachings with the knowledge and understanding that will allow you to apply what you are learning to your everyday, everyday life. life. Amen. That's important because if you learn it and you're not able to apply it mm -hmm. to your life, what right. good is it? Good. What good is it? It's wasting. So you're wasting your time watching exactly. it. So we want you to really learn and understand what we're talking about so you can apply it to your life. Mm -hmm. So remember, we talk about this all the time too. The parable mm -hmm. of the sower, right. which is in the book of Matthew chapter 13, 13 yes. Yes. where Jesus explains that the seed is the word of the kingdom. Yes. The word of the kingdom. That's so mm -hmm. important. Yes. And how the evil one is Satan. Mm -hmm. And he tells how Satan comes immediately to steal yeah. the word of the kingdom yep. when you yeah. don't understand, understand it. it. That's right. When you don't understand mm -hmm. it. Mm -hmm. Therefore, please don't leave this session today without having a thorough understanding of everything that we discuss. Mm -hmm. So please, we encourage you again to join the conversation, okay? okay. Yes. Type your questions or your comments down in the comment section, and we have a team of people who will be able to share them with us. Mm -hmm. Also, if you don't mind, go ahead and hit the like and the share button while you're here, yes. and share this message with others who may want to learn more about the kingdom. It is for those who choose. Amen. 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 Now, before we move into our lesson today, let's officially open our session in prayer. Mm -hmm. Let's petition the government of heaven to Amen. give the most high king of heaven permission Amen. to manifest his presence in and through this teaching today. Amen. 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 Nisha, would you lead us in prayer? Yes, ma'am. Amen. 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 Then you Amen. pray with us at home Thank as well. Jesus. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Father. Father, we come before you first and always, giving yes. your name all the praise, mm. all the honor, and all the glory that is due unto your name, Lord. Yes, for you Lord. are truly worthy of all praise. Hallelujah. From the rising of the sun to the going down of the same, you are yes. worthy of all praise, Father. We yes. thank you just for being our father we thank you for thank being you, sovereign we thank you for your unconditional love lord we have tasted of you and we've seen that you are good lord yes. god we thank you for your sweet love that you show towards us each and every single day 
We thank you for waking us up in the right frame of mind, Lord oh, God. Hallelujah. We thank you for waking us up, giving us the breath of life yes, again. Lord. We thank you yes, for the Lord. movement of our limbs and of our fingers, yes, Lord God. Lord. We thank yes, you that Lord. we're able to even open up our eyes and blink our yes, eyes and Lord. use our voices yes. to communicate yes. the word that you have deposited into our yes. spirits yes. about your kingdom yes. and about who you are, Lord God. Lord, we thank you right now for even in this moment in time that you predestined before the foundations of the world, Lord God. You knew that we would be here, that this moment would take place, and that people would be watching and waiting to hear the gospel of the kingdom. And you knew that people would be waiting and wanting and desiring to hear about what it is that they're searching for that they lost, Lord God. So we thank you for giving us the opportunity to tell and proclaim to the entire world that the Holy Spirit, the governor, has been turn yes. back to the earth, Lord yeah. God, Hallelujah. that they no longer need to search for anything, yes, Lord God, because you are here and yes, you are in the earth and you are here waiting and ready and available to anyone yes, who seeks Lord and desires Jesus. of you, Lord God. Lord, we thank you for this message. We thank you for the lives that are being transformed by the message that is going forth today. And we thank you for the generations of people that will be changed by the message that's going forth today, Lord God. Amen. We thank you for your presence being here. For you said where two or three are gathered yes, together Lord. in yes, your Lord. name, you will yes. be in the midst oh, also. Yeah, yeah. And you said that if we pray, if we touch, if we pray and we come together as touching as yes, in the green, yes. and we pray according to your will, that we know that the answers will be the prayers will be answered. Yes. Not only will they be answered, but you hear us, Lord God. Yes. So we thank you for hearing us. We thank you for your word that's a lamp to our feet yes. and a light yes. to our path, yes. Lord God. You said taste and see that the Lord yes. is good and we daily taste of you and we know and we see that the Lord yes. is good, Lord God. So we pray that we will continue to be your ambassadors yes, and your representatives yes, here in the earth, Lord yes, God. You yes. said that you created us in your image and your likeness, yes, Lord God. And we pray that as we go throughout the earth, as we go throughout our daily lives, that as people see us, that they not see us, but they yes. see you Hallelujah. in us, Lord God. Yes, we thank you that as we go throughout our life, we will glorify you, Lord God, yes, that we Lord. will make known your name and make known your presence everywhere we go, Lord God, not just by what we say, Lord God, but how we live and what we do yes, in front of the yes, people that we see yes. each and every Hallelujah. single day, Lord yes, God. Yes, we thank you that you are continuously drawing us by your Holy thank Spirit, Lord yes. God. Yes, Lord. And we thank you for the people that are connected to each and every single one of us yes. that are being drawn by the Spirit of God that dwells and rests on the inside of us, yes. Lord God. We thank you for this teaching. We thank you for the teacher of the hour, Lord yes, God. Lord. We thank you for your Spirit speaking yes, through her. Use yes, her as your yes, mouthpiece yes, today. Yes. Speak to her only with you would yes, have her to yes, say, Lord yes, God, yes, and we thank you for yes, clarity of thought, yes, clarity of yes, voice, yes, voice yes, and vocal cords, yes, Lord yes, God, yes, and we thank you that the word of God will be made real in the life of the people yes, who hear yes, it today yes, and in the yes, live recordings after today, Lord God. Yes, Lord. So we will always continue to glorify you, yes, we sir. will honor you, yes. and we continue to give your name all the praise, yes, all the honor, yes, and Lord, all the glory. Yes. It's in Jesus' name in we Jesus pray. Name. Amen. 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 Well, taste and see that the Lord is good. Yes. Yes. Blessed is the man that trusts in him. Yes. Taste and see that the Lord is good. Amen. Blessed is the man that trusts in him. Amen. Yes, Amen. Now, before Amen. we get into our new content for this week, let's begin by reviewing the key concepts we covered on last week. Amen. Take your time. Amen. Take your time. Now, last week we begin by looking again at Jesus' primary goal for coming to the earth. Amen. His primary, somebody primary. say primary. primary. His primary goal for coming to the earth. We said that Jesus' number one goal was to bring the kingdom on earth. Yes. Amen. As we said many, many times before, hand over fist, God is not interested in a religion. Mm -hmm. God is not interested in rituals and traditions. Mm -hmm. God has one interest, which is to have his kingdom government on, on the earth. earth. That's right. Amen. Amen. We said again that the kingdom of God is God's number one priority. And we know this to be true by what Jesus says in Matthew 6 and 33. Mm -hmm. He says, to seek ye first, first. that's your scripture too. Yeah. Seek ye first yes. the kingdom of God yes. and his righteousness, uh -huh. and everything else yeah. will be added to your life. Amen. Everything. Amen. 
Last week we said that the word first means before all others or anything else in time, uh -huh. order, rank, or importance. Yes. yes. The word first simply means priority. Amen. That's all it means. It's yes. first. Yes. Like I'm in front of you. That's what it means. <laughs> Last week we said that Jesus was telling his disciples the number one commitment and purpose of God on the earth is the kingdom government. Amen. Amen. Last week we also talked about how when a kingdom would take over a foreign territory, that kingdom takes over your life. Yeah. Amen. We said that the government wipes out your history and gives you theirs. Wow. wow. That's what it, it wipes out your history right. and it gives you theirs. That's why he talks about be ye transformed by the renewing Renew of your, your mind. mind. Yeah. He washes your mind. Yes. He gives you his mind. That's yes. what he's really doing. Yes. The mind of the kingdom, the kingdom of God. Yeah. The government. Amen. We said that the government wipes out your history and gives you theirs. God wants you to forget about your sin life and only think about heavenly thinking. That's yes. what we just said. Yes. We said that the goal of the kingdom is to wipe out your past and give you its past. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We read 2 Corinthians chapter 5 where the Bible says that if you are in Christ, you have become a, a new, new creature. creature. Yeah. You are a new creature. Old things are passed away. Mm -hmm. We said that old things have been washed away. And then you you are brainwashed by the Holy Spirit with a new way of thinking. Yeah. Like that yeah. Brainwashed like that. by the yes. Holy Spirit. Lord, you God. Brainwash me, Father. Yes. Amen. Yes. Amen. Yes. Yes. Amen. Yes. Amen. <laughs> Last week we talked about Romans, the 12th chapter, where Paul says to not be conformed to this world's way of thinking, mm -hmm. but be ye transformed yes. by the renewing of your mind. Yes. Mm -hmm. We said that the Holy Spirit has been sent to the earth to wash your brain yes. from sin thinking, yes. depressed thinking, come on, come on. or any come kind on, of confusion. Come on, come on, That's the truth. Confusion. Yeah. Mm. Mm -hmm. We also said that in 2 Timothy chapter 1, verse 7, Paul says that God did not give you a spirit of fear, come on, man. but mm -hmm. of come power, love, and, and a sound, sound mind. mind. A yes. sound mind. Yes. You're supposed to have a sound mind. Yeah. You're not supposed to be worrying about foolishness or the things that the devil brings in, in your face. You know, that's why Jesus told us to walk by faith and not you know, by what we see. That's right. Because that's Satan right. will put things in front of you that will cause fear, doubt, and unbelief. Yes. And then you'll go completely away from God's word looking at what Satan is trying to do. That's and right. And that's one reason why we have to be brainwashed by the government. Yeah. Yeah. Come so on now. To get all that foolishness of this world system. Because yes. yes. this world system is nothing but a system of darkness yes. and destruction yes. Yes. and chaos. Yes. And it's going down day by day. Yes. And even the leaders are liars. Yes, sir. Mm. And what did Jesus say about that? Uh -oh. He said the devil is a liar. Yes. And the, the truth, of lies. he not knows either. not how to tell. That's what Jesus says. He says the truth, he knows not how to tell. And I've been looking at TV last week, and some people just don't know how to tell the truth. Listen, right. so that means they've been influenced by the kingdom of God. That's, That's right. right. That's right. And all I've got to say is, that's what they need. Amen. Yes, absolutely. Amen. So last week we said that you can't live in this country called heaven on earth unless you have a mental transformation by the Holy Spirit. That's right. And who's the Holy Spirit? The, oh, go the governor. That's right. Go I just was checking. I know go you did. I know. That's right. <laughs> He's, he does it by, <laughs> the Holy Spirit does it by teaching you about heaven. Yeah. That's what the word of God is. It's about heaven on the earth. Yes. The key wow. to the influence of this colony called earth is the presence of the governor. And the governor is the Holy Spirit. Yes. Amen. Amen. And you need to know that. Well, you know, Jesus brought him on his shoulder. That's yes. right. And on his shoulder was because on his shoulder he was going to give it to he for somebody. somebody. Right. Exactly. It wasn't for right. them, it was for somebody. That's exactly. Right. That's right. He was bringing us back what we lost. That's right. And that's what Jesus said. He says, he'll, he'll bring back to you and remember everything that I have taught you. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Mm. Yes. Mm -hmm. Everything that I have already taught you. Mm -hmm. Exactly. So, so like we said before, in order for you to have a, to have a, 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 a remember something, 
you first have to have a memory of something exactly. in order for you to remember. Yes. Because the prefix RE means again. Yes. yes sir. So like, it's almost like you tell your child, your students in school, you say, I want you to rewrite this paper. Mm -hmm. That means they've already written the paper, uh -huh. but you want them to write it again, again exactly. for, for mistakes in capitalization yes. or punctuation or spacing or spelling or yeah. whatever. They're right. done before, right. but I need do you to just again. do it do again. It again. <laughs> Amen. Come on now. Mm -hmm. The Holy Spirit is heaven's governor on the earth. Mm -hmm. Therefore, the return of the Holy Spirit is the most important act of the redemption program of God. That's it's the most Come important act on. of the redemption program of God. I'm going to say it one more time. It is the most important, important. act of the redemption program of God. Come on, man. Then we also said last week that the most important person on earth is also the most misunderstood man. person on earth, on, which is also the Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit. Yeah. Now, the most important person on earth is a person you cannot see with your eyes, with uh -huh. your physical uh -huh. eyes, with your natural eyes. Yeah. The Holy Spirit is the only evidence of heaven. Mm -hmm. Last week we talked about the primary and principal goal of God the Father for sending Jesus uh -huh. was to restore the governor to the colony. Yes. Yes. To yes. put the influence of heaven back the earth. on the earth. Come on, That's man. what God wants right now. Yes. He wants his influence on this earth. Yes. And look how far we have gone away from God's original motivation oh, and intent. This earth is not run by God's influence. Right. No, it's not. They no, say that the, the a Pledge of Allegiance, but that's not even true. Right. And we, the kids in my school, I know they say it in your school every day. Mm -hmm. One nation under God. Yeah. And that's and this, not true. I was about to say, it's not. <sighs> Jesus said, wait here. Until you receive the promise of the Father. Yes. Jesus was saying, I came to earth so that you can receive the promise of the Father. Mm -hmm. In other words, my Father made a promise somewhere, and I came to deliver on the promise. Yes. So the Holy Spirit is called the promise of the Father. Let me say Amen. that again. The Holy Spirit is called the promise of the Father. Now, when did the Father decide to send him? That's the question. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We said that the Father promises to send the Holy Spirit the day we lost him. Amen. Wow. The Amen. day we lost him yes. was the day that he decided to send the Holy Spirit to God. Yes. Come on. And we lost the Holy Spirit in Genesis chapter 3. It happened the very day Adam turned his back on the government. He cursed the king. Mm -hmm. He cut ties with the home country and decided to become independent. Yes, yes, we read the wow. account of this happening in Genesis chapter 3. Yes. We said last week that the very same day that it happened in verse 15 of Genesis chapter 3, God said the woman shall have a seed, mm -hmm. and that seed shall come into the earth. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. God said... Mm, the seed of the woman shall crush yes, sir. your yes, head, sir. Yeah. referring to the illegitimate mm -hmm. uh, rulership of the kingdom of darkness uh -huh. who is Satan. Who is Satan. Yeah. Mm -hmm. He's He's illegitimate. illegal. He's yes, illegal. right. He's That's illegal. what it is. He's illegal, basically. Crushing Satan's head meant crushing his authority yes. and government power. Yes, yes. Amen. amen. The seed of the woman will come, take back what was stolen and delivered back to the children who lost, lost it. That's yeah. all. Amen. Amen. We said it was the promise of the Holy Spirit last week. We asked you to think about this. When Adam sinned, did Adam lose earth? We said no. Earth still exists. Yes. Did he lose his body when he sinned? We Ooh. said no. Adam lived 930 yeah. years after he disobeyed God. So wow. that goes to show you that the devil tells the truth and a lie all at the same time. Yes. He says, surely you will not die. Right. And he didn't die. He lived 930 years. Right. Yes. But as soon as he committed the sin, he died spiritually yes. right there on the spot. Yes. Immediately. Yes. Immediately. Yes. Did Adam lose his mind? We said no. Mm -hmm. Mankind is still thinking. Mm -hmm. Did Adam lose his eyes? We said no. He still can see. That's right. Did Adam lose the animals? We said no. They are still here. We even go to the zoo to see animals. Right, right. now in 2020. <laughs> Amen. Did Adam lose the fish in the sea? No. We said last week, if you came to Adam on Monday, listen, listen. Mm 
-hmm. If you came to Adam on Monday and you seen Adam on Tuesday after he sinned, you would see that nothing physically changed. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Nothing. Absolutely. Why? Because Adam lost nothing that you could see. Mm -hmm. Right. We said that Adam lost the invisible governor of the Holy Spirit, who you can't see. Right. So God made a promise. He said, Adam, I know you messed up. So the same woman that Satan used, mm -hmm. I'm going to use yes, a woman too. Yes, yes, sir. yes and sir. I'm going to come back to humans legally. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to bring back the governor legally. Yes, sir. Amen? Yes, sir. He's going to be in one body legally. And he's going to crush Satan's authority and take, take it back. back. Come on, he's now. going to take it back. Yes, yes. take it on back. Yes, he's going to give back what they, the children of mankind, lost. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Wow. We said last week that the children, mankind, which means you and I, lost the Holy Spirit. Right. That was the promise of the Father to return the Holy Spirit back to the earth. Yeah. So Jesus came primarily not to die on the cross, on, now, not to be buried in the grave, uh -huh. and not to be resurrected. Right. That was not his primary purpose. We asked you a question last week. We said if Jesus came to earth and healed everybody, mm -hmm. fed people, mm -hmm. walked on the water, mm -hmm. was crucified, which was capital punishment, buried, resurrected and left would that help us no mm -hmm. we said that's simply that that simple answer is no that wouldn't have helped us mm -hmm. we would still be in sin yeah. if you yes. did all of that we yes. would still be in sin yeah mm -hmm. all of that didn't help us because the process was a means to an end yes jesus yeah. couldn't wait to get to the end yes. he couldn't yes. wait to get to the end the bible says that jesus tells his disciples to meet me in Galilee. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. That's what the lady said. She said, oh, I met a man in Galilee, and you trust in him. He'll set you free. free. Come on now. <laughs> I want to meet you in Galilee. Why? I have one major act left. Yeah. And it's the most important act. Yeah. The most important act. It's the most important act. Mm -hmm. After his resurrection, the Bible says he went to each one of them and held their heads. Mm -hmm and breathed on them mm. he said receive yes, the yes. holy spirit yes receive and we know that word see c-e-i-b-e -E means to have yes. so yes. he's saying i want you to have again the, the holy, holy spirit, spirit. Yes, you right. had it before but because well, you acted up he left you right right that's right that's what he said on, he right. said the day that you disobeyed me you right. will surely die, die. Yes. and that's what death is to god is when his spirit leaves your spirit yeah it goes back to himself yes. death to us is when some of our family member or friend passes we go to the funeral we go to the wake mm -hmm. we go to the burial ground that's right. what death is to us but death to god is with is yes. when his spirit leaves your body because yes. see sin with god God can't dwell in a temple where there's sin. Yeah. Exactly. The Bible says, what does light and darkness have in common? common? It has nothing, nothing in common. So after his resurrection, the Bible says he went to each and every one of them and held their heads and breathed on them. And he said, receive the Holy Spirit. We read about this in John chapter 9, 19. Amen. Uh -huh. Last week, we talked about how the whole thing was about that one act, yes. bringing the influence of heaven Back to, earth. to earth and putting it where it was. Yes. That was in the body of a human. Teach. That's why the Bible now. says your body is the temple, temple. of the Holy yes, Spirit, sir. who is the governor of the kingdom. Yes. Mm. Therefore, yes. we said last week, the Holy Spirit is the kingdom. The Holy Spirit is, is the, the kingdom. kingdom. So again, what is a kingdom? It is a government. The Holy Spirit is a kingdom and the only contact that you have with your country heaven. Only, right. only, mm. only. Last week we said that it doesn't matter who you have in your life. Mm -hmm. If you don't have the Holy Spirit, you mm. are still an illegitimate country wow. yes, walking yes. on two, two legs. legs. Wow. You are a foreigner. Yes, sir. A now. foreigner. Amen. Mm. You are an illegal immigrant without the Holy Spirit. Wow. Wow. That's why you have no peace mm. because illegal immigrants keep hiding. Yes. And watch yes. this. Yes. Last week we told you that when you are not in touch with your country, you are not at home. 
and you will always be suspicious and afraid. Wow. Wow. Yeah. wow. Yeah. Now, we read Romans chapter 8, verses 14 through 16, where Paul says that God does not give you a spirit of fear. Mm -hmm. We cry, Abba, yes. Father, by the Holy Spirit. Yes. He came to teach us to say, Abba, Father. Say, Abba, Father. Abba, Abba Father. Father. We said, not only is the king my Lord, but my family. Yeah. He's yeah. our family. Because yes. the Bible is about a king. It's about his kingdom. Yeah. It's about his royal family. Royal yes. family. And that's what we are. Family. We are part of the royal <laughs> family. The royal family. We talked about how we are the only kingdom in history uh -huh. where every citizen is family to the king. Yes. Yes. Glory, hallelujah. Yes. Amen. Yes. We said in the kingdom of God, not only is your king a king, but he is king of all the yeah, kings. Yes. Amen? Amen. That's why Hebrews chapter 4 says, oh, well, I got to stop right there. It says Hebrews. That means that ladies are not supposed to fix coffee anymore because it says Hebrews. <laughs> <laughs> That's why Hebrews. <laughs> no, I'm just playing. <laughs> That's why chapter 4 says, come boldly yes. unto the throne. Yes. Come boldly. Yes. And know who you are. Yes. You got to know who you are. You yes. have to know who you are. The Bible says Jesus was not afraid to call us brothers. Yeah. Now we asked you last week, how can your Savior be your big brother? Mm -hmm. How can your Savior, how can your King be your big brother? We said last week in the kingdom of God, we are all one family, family. one family. Yes. That's why God becomes concerned when you become intimidated by the relationship between he and you. Yeah. Yeah. You became afraid to even approach him. Wow. But listen. He loved you so much yes. that he came down yes, sir. Yes, sir. to approach you yes. to take away your fear of him. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Wow. That's why he became a man. He wanted you not to be afraid of him. Mm -hmm. You are God's family. Imagine wow. a family with divinity. That's who we yes. are, a That's, family yes. with divinity. Yes. My father is a divine, sovereign God. Amen. And your father is a divine, sovereign yes. God. Amen. Last week, we also talked about 2 Peter chapter 1, where it says we are partakers yes. of the divine, divine nature. nature. We yes. are partakers yes. of, that's in the Holy Scriptures. Yes. So you need to know that you are a divine partaker yes. of his nature. Yes. We said the word nature there means Genetics. Genetics. Yes. Uh -huh. yes. We are partakers of divine genes. Yes. So that means we have divine genes in us. Amen. Amen. Yes. To have the gene of God means you when you sin, you become uncomfortable because it's not in your genes to sin. Have yes. you ever been somewhere and, and you hear somebody start cursing? Mm -hmm. And you, you get it, it just does it something just to you. Uh -huh. yeah. I mean, it's, it's, it's you like, and that's what it is. The, it's the governor in you saying, That's not your language, right. right? That's not the language that we speak in our country, right? And you and you do, I mean, or you automatically mm -hmm. feel that way when somebody is around you. Yes. You could be in the supermarket, yeah. you could be at the gas station, and people yeah, start word. cursing, yeah. you know, yeah. And it can be it. I mean, and the thing that I, I saw, I, I mean, you could see, a, I'm saying this for the ladies, you could see a nice looking man, you know, and, and he opens his mouth and starts cursing. That makes him look ugly. Yes. Yes. The yes. same yes. thing with a woman. You yes. can see a nice looking woman, beautiful yes. in the physical, natural yes. realm. But if she, when she opens her mouth yes. and starts cursing, it makes her look. That's true. Yes. Yes. That's, that's, that's true. Yeah, that's the truth. That's, 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 that's real. That's real. And what, what, what the Holy Spirit oh, is, is really. saying, the genes that are in you, you know, stop. Mm -hmm. We don't talk that way. We don't collaborate yes. that right. way. We don't right. act that way. Mm. The Bible says that you should be holy because your Father God is holy. It's holy. Right. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's wow. why you hate to do wrong because when you do it, you feel guilty. Right. It's in your genes reacting. Yeah. It is your genes reacting to the negativity. Yeah. Guilt is a genetic response to abnormal living. Wow. Mm -hmm. 
Mm -hmm. Wow. Mm -hmm. Conviction is when the governor of the kingdom says, remember I told you you're convicted? Mm -hmm. Yes. Is when the governor of the kingdom says, you know, that's wrong. Yeah. Yeah. And he'll tell you that's wrong. Yeah. I remember I was, remember I told you about the shirt, I, I saw a polo shirt, yeah. Yeah. and it was, a, it was a nice shirt, and I went back, because I'm not like a first time picky um, shopper, I'll go and look at something, and I'll go back, mm -hmm. and I'll look at it again, and I'll go back, and um, the third time I looked, I said, oh, you know what, I'm going to get this shirt, so I got all the way up to the cash register, it was looking at the shirt, and the Holy Spirit allowed me to look on the sleeve of the shirt, mm -hmm. and it had a picture of a devil with a pitchfork. And said devil something. I'm like, I can't wear it. Exactly <laughs> right. And I put right. it right back on the rack. That's right. That's the Holy right. Spirit. If you listen to him, he will lead you by exactly. yes, all he will. righteousness. Yes, he will. I'm like, man, ain't no way in the world I can wear this. Right. And this and the writing on there said devil something. I don't want nothing. Say devil nothing. No, no, no. That, that, come Amen. On now. Glory be to God. So you have two wonderful things. Listen, listen. You have two wonderful things to help you not sin. What else? You have the divine gene yeah. and you have the governor. Who's the what? The, the Holy, Holy Spirit. Spirit. So live right mm -hmm. so that you don't have to upset both. Right. You live clean and both are happy. Let me say that again. Mm -hmm. When you live clean, both are happy. Yes. Your genes are happy. You can walk around and not be ashamed if people talk about you because there is no guilt. Why? Mm -hmm. My genes are happy mm -hmm. because I live holy. Yeah. Amen. Amen. And we should be holy because who's holy? Our, Our Father, Father God is holy. Amen. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Thank you, teacher, for Amen. that. Amen. That, that, that was so good. Amen. It was. Amen. Now, let's move on to our new content for this week. Amen. Today we want to continue focusing on who is the Holy Spirit. Amen. Well, who is the Holy Spirit? Mm -hmm. This may sound like an obvious question, mm -hmm. but it's not. Mm -hmm. As we said before, the Holy Spirit is the most mm -hmm. misunderstood person in the earth. Mm -hmm. And he is the most misused person on the earth. Amen. The Holy Spirit is the most misunderstood part of the Trinity of God. Amen. Yeah. Many people think that the Holy Spirit is some smoke or we were talking about that. Or mist that mm -hmm. comes into a place that causes people to fall out on the ground. <laughs> Come on. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Spooky. That is not the Holy Spirit. Come on. Right? Come on. So again, who is the Holy Spirit? Who is it? Well, let's begin by describing who is we be, let, let us begin by describing who he is not okay, okay. okay. Number, one. number one the holy spirit is not in it come on now people say do you feel it mm. yeah or if you got it mm. or something it? something told me you know <laughs> He is not an it. He is not an IT. Jesus never referred to the Holy Spirit as an it. Never. Jesus always and continuously used the word he. Yeah. In John chapter 14, verse 26, Jesus said, But the comforter, which is the Holy Ghost, whom the Father will send in my name, he shall teach you all things mm -hmm. and bring all things to your remembrance mm -hmm. whatsoever i said to you come mm -hmm. on now jesus could have said when the holy spirit comes however he wanted to make sure that you know that he the holy spirit <laughs> is a person come right now you
all picked up with fresh mm -hmm. racing and mm -hmm. think, you know, they start running around, right. screaming, mm -hmm. falling out, running right. into walls and everything. Yeah. And people right. call it the Holy right. Right. Mm -hmm. That is not the Holy Spirit. Right. 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 No, you are simply relieving tension. It. Mm -hmm. It is right. not a feeling. He is a person. Mm -hmm. Come on now. You don't need to make uh -oh. noise to experience the Holy Spirit. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Mm -hmm. uh -oh. You, you don't need to be loud. You don't yes. need to bang drums. Mm -hmm. Knowing you scream and shout and to experience the Holy Spirit. Amen. That's right. Amen. Amen. As a matter of fact, the Bible tells us mm -hmm. when the Holy Spirit comes, He's in a quiet place. Mm -hmm. yeah. That's why you need to be by yourself that so you can right. hear from that's Him. Because right. He yes. scream all oh, out. No, 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 no. And guess no. what? If you ever been addicted to any drugs and if the triggers come, mm -hmm. he's not going to go and say, oh, no, don't use. Mm -hmm. But he's going to say, no, don't do that. Mm -hmm. Right. It's up right. to you to listen. listen. Right. Exactly. Right. Right. Exactly. Right. So we said he is not an it, an mm -hmm. IT, or he is not a feeling. Mm -hmm. Now, it's important that you understand this. Mm -hmm. Although the Holy Spirit is not a feeling, mm -hmm. he can affect your emotions. Yeah. Yeah. Right. He can affect your emotion and cause you to feel his presence. Yeah. Right. 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 However, he's not a feeling. Yeah. Number four, the Holy Spirit is not a mist. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. <laughs> Come on. That's right. Jesus, help us, Lord. This is what mm -hmm. The right. Holy Spirit can manifest mm -hmm. and do different things. Mm -hmm. But 99% mm -hmm. of the things people <laughs> think are the Holy Spirit, mm -hmm. it is not, not him. Mm -hmm. It's not him at all. Right. Mm. He doesn't want to spook you. He's a person. Right? Yes. He wants to have a relationship with you. Yes. Right? The Holy yes. Spirit is very respectful. He's such a gentleman. Mm -hmm. Yes, he, he is. is. You can hurt his feelings. Mm -hmm. Okay, he got feelings. He's a person. Mm -hmm. That's right. right. You can hurt his feelings. Mm -hmm. The Bible says you can grieve him. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Let's look at Paul's instructions to the church at Ephesus mm -hmm. to for a better understanding of this. Amen. Anisha, can you go to Ephesians 4 and read verses 17 to 32? Amen. Yes, ma'am. So again, we're in Ephesians chapter 4, verses 17 through 32, and I'm reading from the New King James Version. Amen. And it says, This I say, therefore, and testify in the Lord that mm -hmm. you should no longer walk as the rest of the Gentiles walk mm -hmm. in the futility of their mind, having their understanding darkened, being mm -hmm. alienated from the life of God because of the ignorance that is in them, mm -hmm. because of the blindness of their heart, mm -hmm. who being past feeling have given themselves over to lewdness to work all uncleanness with greediness. Mm -hmm. But you have not so learned Christ, if you indeed have heard him and have been taught by him, as the truth is in Jesus, mm -hmm. that you put off concerning your former conduct, the old man which grows corrupt according to the deceitful lust, mm -hmm. and be renewed in the spirit of your mind, mm -hmm. and that you put on the new man which was created according to God in true righteousness and holiness. Mm -hmm. Therefore, putting away lying let each one of you speak truth with his neighbor, mm -hmm. for we are members of one another. Yes. Be angry and do not sin. Mm. Do not let the sun go down on your wrath, yes. nor give place to the devil. Mm. Let mm. him who stole steal no longer, but rather let him labor, working with his hands what is good, that he may have something to give to him, that he may have something to give him who has need. Let no corrupt words proceed out of your mouth, uh, 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 uh. Mm. but what mm. is good for necessary edification, yes. that it may impart grace to the hearers. Mm. Mm. And do not grieve the Holy Spirit of God, <coughs> by whom you were sealed for the day of redemption. Mm -hmm. Let all bitterness, wrath, mm. anger, clamor, and evil speaking be put away from you with all malice, and be kind to one another, tenderhearted, Forgiving one another, even as, as God in Christ forgave you. Mm. Amen. Mm -hmm. And thank you for your reading. Mm. Amen. In verse 30, Paul wow. says, And do not grieve the Holy Spirit of mm. God, mm -hmm. with whom you were sealed for the day of redemption. Mm. Yes. So you can grieve the Holy Spirit. Number five, the Holy Spirit is a person. Mm -hmm. So who is the Holy Spirit? Come on, Come tell on. them. 
first and foremost, he is a person. Mm -hmm. The Holy Spirit is a personality. Mm -hmm. Every person has a personality. Mm -hmm. And that is why they're called a person. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Come on. What makes you a person is that you have qualities that distinguish you from others. Mm -hmm. That's why you're called a person. A person. Amen. The Holy Spirit is a distinct has a is a distinct personality. Mm -hmm. He has his own style. That's right. He yes. is a person. Mm -hmm. Come on. Number six, the Holy Spirit is a character. character. Yeah. Mm -hmm. He has characteristics. And he also has senses. Mm -hmm. Now, let me clarify this. Go ahead. Now, when I use the word sense, mm -hmm. I use it to communicate to you the same way you have five physical senses. Mm -hmm. The Holy Spirit has many spiritual senses. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The Come same on. way you can hear physically mm -hmm. is the same way he can hear spiritually. Mm -hmm. The same way you can discern and smell physically, mm -hmm. he, the Holy Spirit, can discern spiritually. Mm -hmm. The same way you can see physically, the Holy Spirit can see spiritually. Mm -hmm. yeah. The same way you can touch physically, the Holy Spirit can be touched with your feelings of your infirmity. Mm -hmm. Come on now. 90% of the people who are filled with God's Spirit mm -hmm. does not really know nor understand mm -hmm. it, understand who it is that lives in them. Come on, Come on, Come on now. Now. Wow. You mm -hmm. have no relationship with this person who lives in you mm -hmm. because no one has set you down and took the time to open your eyes to who this person really is. Wow. Yeah. Wow. You have someone inhabiting you, someone, not something, it's mm -hmm. someone, he's a he. Mm -hmm. However, you do not know who he is. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now, when you ignore a person, they stop talking to you. Yep. Yes. They're gonna keep yep. ignoring them and they're gonna know. They're mm -hmm. right. mm -hmm. gonna stop. Right. Mm -hmm. The more you ignore a person, the more they will ignore you. Right. Yeah. Okay. Right. Yes. For example. If you and I are in the same company mm -hmm. every day, mm -hmm. maybe we work in the same place. Mm -hmm. And if you don't ever refer to me, eventually mm -hmm. I would think that you are not interested in having a relationship. Right, with right, right, right. 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 And that's true. Sense. I think that's I see true. that every day on yes. the job. You know? Yeah. yeah. Our people walk past other people and don't, don't speak. speak. Don't right. speak. And they'll come by me and say, hey, Mr. Cook, and walk by the other person. That's been there for three or five years yeah. and won't even speak. Speak. speak to them. Right. Mm -hmm. Or or if you do know who I am and you don't talk to me after a while, I think that I'm not important to you. Right. 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 If right. you keep ignoring me when I keep talking to you after a while, I know that you don't want to talk to me or listen to me. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This is also true about your relationship with the Holy Spirit. Mm -hmm. Yes, it he is. He is a person. Mm -hmm. Now, Jesus spoke about him in such a practical way. Mm -hmm. He said, he, the Holy Spirit, will teach you all things. Mm -hmm. Let's read it again. Aaron, would you go to John 14 mm -hmm. and read one verse there in the King James Version. Mm -hmm. And Nisha, Nisha, I want you to go to John 16 mm -hmm. and read verses 12 through 15 in the NIV. Okay. Amen. John 14 and 1 verses 26. Amen. Mm -hmm. And it reads as such. I'm in John 14, 26. But the Comforter, which is the Holy Ghost, whom the Father will send in my name, yes, sir. he shall teach you all things yes, sir. and bring all things to your what? Remembrance. Remembrance. Whatsoever I have said unto you. Amen. Amen. Mm -hmm. But you got to know what he said. That's well, right. Come on now. I'm going to leave that right there. Come Doc. on now. <laughs> <laughs> Amen. Now I'm going to jump on over to John 16. I'm reading from the new, the NIV version, mm -hmm. new international version, uh, verses 12 through 15. And mm -hmm. he says, this is Jesus talking. Mm -hmm. I have much more to say to you, mm -hmm. more than you can now bear. Mm -hmm. But when he the spirit of truth comes here. He calls him a he again. Mm -hmm. He will guide you into all truth. Mm -hmm. He, listen to this, he will not speak on his own. Come mm -hmm. on, come on. 
he will not speak on his own. Mm -hmm. He will speak only what he hears and he will tell you what is yet to come. Mm -hmm. He will glorify me because it is from me that I, that he will receive what he will make known to you. Mm -hmm. All that belongs to the father is mine. Mm -hmm. That is why I said the spirit will receive from me what mm -hmm. he will make known to you. Mm -hmm. That's almost what Jesus said about the Father. Yes. You know, and that's the order. Not that one is more important than that, but it's the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. That's the order. God always have has a uh, a hierarchy and he puts things in order. Because yes. if you think about it, it's the Father, it's the Son, it's the Holy Spirit, then it's man, women, and child. And that's how creation yeah. came. Yes. Adam yes. was first and Eve, and when the two got together, they had children. Yes. You know, yes. that's the order of God. Yes. Amen. Yeah. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. The Holy Spirit is a guide. Mm -hmm. He is a comforter. And he is a teacher. That's yes. right. Now, any teacher will tell you that mm. there is nothing worse mm -hmm. than mm -hmm. working with a student, young and Young or old who mm. don't want to learn. We Come got on, that's right. You got it. Got it. Yeah. 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 You know that's right. right. You know what she always said? You can put a, a nickel you in the middle. Look, you can pop that's that right true. there. That's it. It's so true. You can see that nigga like, yep, she right on point. Yes. Because yes. yes. it hit my spirit. And I, I see the kids every day. And that's what yeah. one thing that will make you want to quit for leaving yeah. is when they don't want to learn. Yes. 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 That will make you want to quit or leave. It's when they don't you want have to learn. students who do not want to learn. Yes. It stops because you from teaching. It stops yes. you from yes. teaching. Yes. teaching. Because what they do, you have some kids, you could have 80% of the kids, or you can have, I'll go even further, you can have 98% of the kids in there that want to learn. You can have 2% that don't, and they'll throw the whole yes. class yes. on yes. the yeah. yeah. You know? Yes. They'll throw, and a lot of them act out because they're not really understanding yeah. what's what is, going on, right. yep. you know, so and so that they don't be embarrassed in front of their okay. peers, yeah. they, they begin make a to distraction. act up. Yeah, yeah, they become a distraction. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's, That's so true. true. Yes. That's that is true. true. Yes. Yes. That's so true. One of the primary reasons that makes a teacher want to quit is when a student do not want to learn. Mm -hmm. Well, the Holy Spirit is no different. Mm -hmm. Yes. When That's you right. don't want to listen, and follow his instruction, mm -hmm. he will quit on you. Mm -hmm. For example, mm -hmm. the Holy Spirit wow. may be trying to tell you to do something mm -hmm. and you continue to ignore him. Mm -hmm. That reminded me when, when mm -hmm. um, I started using drugs, my mm -hmm. body was rejected and it was this still small voice saying mm -hmm. no. Mm -hmm. But yeah. the flesh mm -hmm. yeah, was, was like, a loud voice saying yeah. Uh -huh. oh, yeah. You know uh -huh. what I mean? Uh -huh. And still even using the drugs my body rejected, I began to gurgitate. Mm -hmm. wow. See, I didn't understand that back then. Right. I don't yes. understand right. it now. Right. Body wasn't designed for it. That's mm -hmm. why mm -hmm. it wasn't designed for it. Mm -hmm. For example, the Holy Spirit may be trying to tell you something and mm -hmm. you continue to ignore him. Mm -hmm. Let us say, for instance, in the middle of the night, he tells you to get up and pray. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now, you say, I'm really tired. And I don't feel like getting out of the bed. Mm -hmm. It's just my mind playing tricks on me because I'm tired. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And he says this again, your family member is in danger. And I need a human vessel because I cannot mm -hmm. interfere mm -hmm. without the permission of your father. Mm -hmm. No more. Mm -hmm. No more, man. Mm -hmm. You ignore the warnings, the warning because you think it's just your mind playing tricks on you. Mm -hmm. And what you do, go back to sleep. Go back, go back to sleep. sleep. Yeah. Amazing thing, you. <laughs> what happens when you ignore the Holy Spirit? He has stopped talking. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Then you wake up the next morning. Mm -hmm. And you find out that something tragic happened yeah. to one of your family members. Yeah. yeah. Because you didn't listen or yield to the Holy Spirit, mm -hmm. with what he was trying to say Thank to you. you. Right? Yes. He cannot intervene and stop the, the tragic situation mm -hmm. if you didn't give him permission. Right, Come right. on. And now your family member's dead. Mm -hmm. wow. That's how serious it is. It He's is. dead. Mm -hmm. Remember, the only legal way a spirit can operate in mm -hmm. earth is by the permission of a human vessel. Right. You know why? 
that's a teaching right there. Mm -hmm. It is. That's, that's a whole, teaching. That's one right statement. There. Mm -hmm. We have to give the Holy Spirit the permission mm -hmm. to our, that's what prayer is. That's right. exactly that's what right. prayer is. Right. Right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It is no different with the Holy Spirit. Mm -hmm. He will give you instruction, mm -hmm. but he mm -hmm. will not force you to obey mm -hmm. what he's trying to tell you. No, he won't. He's such a gentleman. Yes, he is. And you he have is. to be attentive to him. Mm -hmm. Yes. We always seek other people's advice more than we seek knowledge and understanding and wisdom yeah. from the Holy Spirit. Mm -hmm. The most now. important person on earth that knows everything, That's sees right. everything. Yes. You know, he was there when, when God finished us. You mm -hmm. know, every aspect of our life. Right. But you want to ignore him? Okay. Mm -hmm. That's why we don't like to pray. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Prayer is you and your teacher hanging out together and you mm -hmm. listening to him. That's right. yes. And that's true worship, too. That's, yes. that's true right. worship. That's right. Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. Prayer, you are saying that he you are saying what he tells mm -hmm. you to say. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. He only tells you what to say that which lines up with the word of the king. That's yes. Right. Remember? And remember, power, which is the Holy Spirit, will on. always on. act on the word, on the word of, of the king. king. That's Come all on. On. Yeah. Yeah. Always act. Always. Some of you have not heard the mm. Holy Spirit for a long time, and you know exactly why. Mm. Wow. You know why? Mm. You get up in the morning and you don't pray. Mm. Come on you go now. to bed at night and you don't pray. Mm. Come on now. The Bible say pray without ceasing. ceasing. Right. Don't stop praying. Right. Right. You run out after you eat breakfast and you sit in traffic mad all day, mm -hmm. and you never refer to him. Mm. Come on. You don't ask wow. him nothing. Mm. Mm -hmm. You make your you make your decisions, buy your things, make investments, mm -hmm. run your business. You go to a job and you go to school mm -hmm. and you're out the whole day and you never refer to the Holy Spirit. Mm -hmm. And you oh, wonder man. why your life all messed up. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And he's screaming at you all day. Please, mm -hmm. he say, go left. And you're still going right. Come mm -hmm. on. Come on now. Mm -hmm. And you are out the whole day, but you never refer to him. Mm -hmm. So. You do this for seven years, and this is why he is so quiet. Mm -hmm. He's just laying in you dormant. Mm -hmm. He say, you ain't saying nothing. You ain't mm -hmm. listening to me. Right. I'm going to keep talking. Keep He's a right person. Right. You're grieving the Holy Spirit. You're ignoring him. Right. Yes. The most literally, literally learn. We must literally learn how mm -hmm. to fellowship with the Holy Spirit. That's, right. yes. That's right. You yes. have to learn to be by yourself sometimes mm -hmm. right. and yes. listen to him. You right. can't listen to him. You got the TV popping all the time. Oh, come on. Yeah. Yeah. Or music. Or music. Yeah, yeah. Or, music. Right. or you, you end up off. on social media. You mm -hmm. got to turn off and yeah. sit by mm -hmm. yourself. He'll get some stuff to you. I'm mm -hmm. telling you. Yes. He is a person who has senses. Amen. You can mm -hmm. grieve him. Mm -hmm. The Bible says, do not grieve the Holy Spirit. Mm -hmm. Well, how do you grieve him? By mm -hmm. knowing him. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The Bible say, if you hear his voice, mm -hmm. harden not, not your heart. heart. Mm -hmm. Let's mm -hmm. read this. Mm -hmm. Aaron, would you go to Hebrews 3 mm -hmm. and read verses 7 through 15? Amen. 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 Mm -hmm. Amen. Mm -hmm. Wow. Yes, Lord. Hebrews 3. 7 through 15. 7 through 15. Mm, mm, mm. So we are in Hebrews 3, 7 through 15. Mm -hmm. And it says, Wherefore, as the Holy Ghost saith, today if ye will hear his voice, yeah. harden not your yes. hearts, as in the provocation, in the day of temptation in the wilderness, when your fathers tempted me, proved me and saw my works 40 years. Wherefore, I was grieved with that generation and said, they do always err in their heart and they have not known my ways. So I swear in my wrath, they shall not enter into my rest. Wow. We're going to go into a teaching call, enter into God's rest. Yes. Take heed, brethren, Lest there be in any of you an evil heart of unbelief in departing from the living God, but exhort one another daily while it is called today, lest any of you be hardened through the deceitfulness of sin. For we are made partakers of Christ if we hold to 
if we hold the beginnings of our confidence steadfast until the end mm -hmm. while it is said today if you will hear his voice harden not your heart as in the provocation amen amen, amen. amen. wow yeah. Yeah. the word heart means mind this mm -hmm. means that he is going to speak to you in your thoughts mm -hmm. yeah mm -hmm. okay so you gotta pay attention so if you think that's just my thoughts, no, the Holy Spirit say that's me. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So you harden your mind and ignore him. Mm -hmm. He will quit on you. Remember, he has senses. Yes, mm -hmm. yeah. Amen. The Holy Spirit has feelings. Remember, you can hurt his feelings, especially when you ignore his voice of instruction. Right. Yeah. Right. The Bible says the Holy Spirit will not always strive with right. man. Amen. That's right. Remember, you can grieve him. Mm -hmm. You must begin to listen to the most important person on earth and mm -hmm. the most important person from heaven. Mm -hmm. It is not the angels. <coughs> the angels are the governor. Mm -hmm. They work for the government. Mm -hmm. The angels are not the government. Mm -hmm. They work for well, the government. For yeah. The Holy Spirit is the governor. Mm -hmm. The Holy Spirit is God himself. Come on, Come on now. The Bible refers to him as the Spirit, Spirit of God. God. Amen. Mm -hmm. Jesus said in John chapter 4, verse 24, mm -hmm. God is spirit. Mm -hmm. And they that worship, worship him, him yes. must worship, worship him in, in spirit, spirit and, and in truth. truth. Why? Because he is God. Mm -hmm. Amen. Jesus said, if you sin against the Holy Spirit, mm -hmm. you can never be forgiven. Yeah. Let's read this in the book of Matthews. Anisha, mm -hmm. would you go to Matthews 12 and read verses 30 to 32? Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. Matthew chapter 12, and we're reading 30 through 32. Mm -hmm. Yes. It says, he who is not with me is against me. Mm -hmm. And he who does not gather me gather with me scatters abroad mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. therefore i say to you every sin and blasphemy will be forgiven men but the blasphemy against the spirit will not be forgiven men mm -hmm. anyone who speaks a word against the son of man it will be forgiven him but whoever speaks against the holy spirit mm -hmm. It will not be forgiven him, mm -hmm. either in this age or the age, age to come. come. Come on now. That's, mm. that's, that's powerful. Yeah. <laughs> that's powerful. Ooh, and, you can, and, and, and you can really find out why. Yes. yes. Yeah. The and, only and, sin and. Jesus said that you can, can never be forgiven of is a sin against the Holy Spirit. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Why? Let me explain this. Mm -hmm. Take your time. Take, Take your walk time. it slow. Walk it slow. slow. Just walk, walk it. it. <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> God the Father, mm -hmm. God the Son, mm -hmm. and God the Holy Spirit, mm -hmm. he is all three in one. Come on. Come on. God has expressed himself in three unique dimensions mm. for the purpose of redemption mm -hmm. come on let's put it another way mm. you are also a trinity mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. you are three mm -hmm. in one come yes, on. go ahead. you are a spirit mm -hmm. you have a soul mm -hmm. which is your mind mm -hmm. your will and mm -hmm. your emotions mm -hmm. yes and you live in a life yes right. okay mm -hmm. So you are also three in one. Uh -huh. You are a trinity, just like your heavenly father, That's just right like now. your daddy, you too. That's right. God made you mm -hmm. in his image mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. with the same components. Now, in John chapter 4, verse 6, Jesus said, no man come to the father mm -hmm. but by me. Come on now. Jesus said, it is the spirit that compels or draws mm -hmm. us to him. Yes, right? right, right. Jesus, it is not Jesus who forgives. Mm -hmm. Okay? Come Wait, on. Come, come on. on. Let's let's stay go, with go, me. Go, let's go, let's stay go. with teach me. It, teach it. He keeps saying, if you don't forgive those who, for, who offend you, then the Father will not forgive you. Mm -hmm. Pay attention now. Mm -hmm. If you don't forgive those who prosecute you, the Father will not forgive you. Uh -huh. You see, the Father 
is the forgiver. Yes. Right. Yes. He is the one that sends you to hell and will judge you. Mm -hmm. Yes. If the Father doesn't forgive you, mm -hmm. then you are doomed. You are finished. You mm -hmm. are done on both sides. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay? Mm -hmm. So, <laughs> what you want is the Father to forgive you. Mm -hmm. You want him to forgive you. Mm -hmm. Okay? Mm -hmm. And we just talked about the only thing that he won't forgive you. Mm -hmm. so, so, don't mess with the Holy Spirit. He's vital. Mm -hmm. yes. But Jesus said, the only way for the Father to forgive you is if I bring you to the Father. Mm -hmm. Yes. Right. Come That's on right. now. Ooh. Ooh. Can we sit Come here? on now. Mm -hmm. The Father will forgive you for mm -hmm. my sake. Mm -hmm. Why? Because he, Jesus, will tell the Father. I died for this one. Mm, that's right. yes. You can forgive him. Yes. That's right. that's right. Go ahead on that. I cleansed him with my blood. Mm. Hallelujah. Amen. Mm. Amen. Now, once again, the only way to get to the Father is through the Son. Yes. Right. Which means you can't get to the Father unless Jesus cleanses you with this blood. Yes. Right. And bring you before the Father. Mm. Yes. And you can't get to Jesus except you are drawn or compelled to him by the Holy Spirit. Ooh, or the Holy Spirit of God. Ooh, 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 That's ooh. how important the governor is. Come on now. Jesus said, if you sin against the Holy Spirit, you mm. can never come to me. Mm. Wow. And if you never come to me, you can never get to the Father mm. to be forgiven yeah. for your sin. And you wow. Know what? Mm. Wow. Remember Jesus says, I am the way, yes. the, the truth, truth, and, and the, the life. life. Come on, man. And then he says something very important after that. He says, and no man, no man can come to the Father except but by, by me. me. Come on. Come on. Ooh, that's what he's mm, saying. Mm, now mm. listen, I'm going to make it real plain. Go ahead and make it plain. The make Holy plain. Spirit is the bringer. Right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Jesus is the cleanser. Uh -huh. And the Father is the forgiver. Say it again. Say it again. Say it again. Say it again. The Holy Spirit <laughs> is the bringer. Uh -huh. He's the one that compels you. Yeah. Right. Just have to have you say, Lord, help me. He's right. the one. He's the compeller. He's right. yeah, the you. Jesus is the cleanser. You've got to be cleansed by the, the blood, blood of okay. Jesus. Right. That's right. That's the only way. Right. And the Father is the forgiver. Come, Come on, man. man. Yes, sir. <laughs> <laughs> so you come to him with all your sins mm -hmm. and he takes it to Jesus. Mm -hmm. Come on. Jesus, take your sins. Mm -hmm. Jesus, take your sins and take his blood. Mm -hmm. Yes, wash it clean you up. Come no, on, man. Away my sin. Walk and wash away my Nothing sin. Nothing but yes. the blood of Jesus. Come on now. Then Jesus bring you to the Father and say, this one is clean. Yes. Mm -hmm. By this time, you make by the time you make it to Jesus, you're straight. Mm -hmm. Come on. By right. the time you get there. That's why the Bible say, if you hear my voice and feel his conviction, yes. and if you hear him, you know, fix it today. You know, mm -hmm. just fix it right fix now. It. Just yes. don't harden your fix heart. No. Just go ahead and fix it. Let him fix it. Mm -hmm. yes. Bring all of that stuff to him. He can fix it. That's Come right. on now. Right. Don't wait till you do this and do that. You ain't got the power to do it. Yeah. He yeah. don't do it all. Yeah. Just right. come. Yes. Right. Come on. Why? Right. Because he, the Holy Spirit, mm -hmm. will not always strive with mm -hmm. you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. There will come a day when he will stop calling. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Some mm -hmm. people pray. Some people play with mm -hmm. God so much. Mm -hmm. They say, maybe tomorrow, maybe next week, maybe mm -hmm. next year. Stop today. Fix Stop it today. today. Come on. Come on. Yeah. Come on. Bring mm -hmm. all your stuff with That's right. you. Yeah, I come did on. It. He did it for me That's and right. a respected person. Mm -hmm. come on, and I man. had some stuff. Good mm -hmm. Lord. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The Bible never say that God is forever suffering. Mm -hmm. But long suffering, the word long means allowance. Mm -hmm. He will allow foolishness for a long time. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Long means that it will come to an end. Mm -hmm. yeah. And then God says, I wash my hands up. You mm -hmm. don't want yeah. God to wash his hands up. That's a dangerous mm -hmm. place to That's be in. Dangerous, mm -hmm. dangerous place. You don't ever want mm -hmm. the Holy Spirit to stop convicting you. Mm -hmm. Now, that's a, somebody out there is doing right. something that they ain't got no business doing, on, and the man. Holy Spirit has stopped convicting you. Mm -hmm. You listening to this, yes. cry out to him now. Yes. I know I'm speaking to somebody. Mm -hmm. Cry mm -hmm. out to him now. He's Amen. waiting for you. Yes. Go ahead and cry out. Let Jesus cleanse you from that stuff. Amen. Stop doing what you're doing and fix it today. You Amen. know what it is. Go ahead and die. Well, 
We want to end on that note. Amen. Oh, man. Remember man. to join us next week as we continue <laughs> our studies on the government, governor uh, of God's uh, uh, kingdom on, on earth. Now. Yes. The, Holy the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit. Amen. That was good. The Amen. Amen. That was good. Amen. 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 Listen, I'm telling y'all, don't miss none of this series. I mean, everything that we talked on has been good, but this series is really good. It's really good. Really good. good. The Holy Spirit. You know, uh, Miles was saying that when Jesus walked the earth for 33 years, mm -hmm. that was God trapped in one place. He was mm -hmm. living. Yes. Right. Remember yes. when Jesus healed, people came to him or right. he went to them. Right. Yeah. Right. Jesus said, I got to die release my, to mm -hmm. release my spirit. Mm -hmm. And then the, 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 the disciples was grieved, say, no, right. no, 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 mm -hmm. no, no. They, they, he, he had to go. He had to release exactly. the Holy Spirit. Right. Yeah. You know, God is not a limited God. He's everywhere mm -hmm. at all times. Right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And his house, his dwelling place is not in mm -hmm. buildings made by hand. Mm -hmm. yes. He created us to dwell within us. Yes. Yes. I feel so special and so Amen. privileged. Lord, 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 you know the truth. And yeah. the, and Jesus said, once you know the truth, the truth, the truth shall make, make you free. You free. Amen. Call me Amen. 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 It'll make you free. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And wow. the devil can't trick you anymore. No, no he can't. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Wow. Mm -hmm. That was so good. It was good. Mm -hmm. So now we want to move into our open forum discussion. Mm -hmm. Are there any questions from our audience, either live Ooh. here or online? Mm -hmm. Now's the time mm -hmm. if you have any questions, go ahead and place them in the comment section. Again, right. we have a team of people who can see them and share them with us. Amen. So are there any Jesus. questions today? Amen. No questions? Well, amen. Amen. Glory so if you missed any of the prior sessions from our Sunday series, I strongly urge you to go back and watch all of them, okay? They are all still saved on our Facebook page, which is for those who choose Incorporated. Amen. And you can access them from our website at www.ftwcinc.org. Let me say it again. Yes. www.ftwcinc.org. And you can also subscribe to our YouTube channel and see all of our videos there. Type Amen. in for those who choose Incorporated and our videos will pop uh -huh. up. Amen. Yeah. Amen. So remember to join us each Sunday at 3 o'clock p.m. for our continued studies. Now may you be transformed by the renewing of your mind mm -hmm. so that you will know the good, acceptable, and the perfect, perfect will, will of God. God. Amen. Yes. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Now the final thing that we want to remind you of today, and that is Jesus, Jesus is Lord. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. See you guys next week. See you later. Be blessed.